2010-0080, Parish President's Remarks, Mr. St. Pierre. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we had a uh, ribbon cutting ceremony on our beautiful gazebo outside. Uh, the dedication was here at the courthouse, and we'd like to thank uh, Mr. Steve Milligan and Mr. Tommy Fauche from Dow, who, who Dow generously donated over $50,000 for construction of this project, and also they continued support, especially of being a great partner in our community. Uh, I'd like to also thank Ms. Carroll, Ms., uh, Mr. Dennis, and Ms. Whitney for attending the uh, ceremony. It was very cold. We had some good gumbo and potato salad after it made it well worthwhile. Uh, recently, uh, I'd also like to thank the uh, Dexter Hands Historical Society for honoring uh, wide receiver coach from the St. Curtis Johnson. Uh, as you know, uh, Curtis Johnson Jr., his dad was a, uh, the first African-American councilman uh, elected in St. Charles Parish, and his picture hangs right outside the, uh, right outside the uh, council chambers there. And, uh, during the ceremony, the parish, remember we did that proclamation on uh, declaring uh, uh, February 9th through that day, and we gave him the uh, plaque, and we also gave him a key to uh, the parish. And uh, we asked him, I asked him for a picture so we can hang it right underneath his dad's out there, and he was very appreciative. They had over maybe 300 people showed up. It was well attended, and uh, this, is a, this is a great guy right here. So, um, and then, uh, they're in. Uh, they're doing a lot of scouting right now at the uh, combines, and uh, we asked them once that's all over with that if we can get the ten Saints players who live in St. Charles Parish to come here one night, we will honor those uh, ten players. I had an opportunity this week to see to see some of our drainage crews in action last week. Uh, these photos show a failed pump uh, being removed from the new Sawpy pump station. Uh, Public Works have been working uh, on replacing this 40-year-old pump. And the timelines for installing has been moved up uh, one week. Uh, since the timing of this project is in the parish's favor, we will save substantial costs in having the old pump rebuilt on an emergency basis. The project will install a new pump and a cover to protect the equipment. The project is about 25% complete and will be double the capacity of water going through the Walker pumping station. Public Works has now completed a project uh, to refurbish and clean the Prescott Canal in months. Uh, for the last three weeks, workers have been cleaning the canal along Hairline Highway to Lake Pontchartrain, allowing for better water flow and more efficient drainage in the area. Uh, Bobby and uh, Rusty and I took a trip back there the other day and boy, that water's really pouring out of there. The only bad news is that when the tide gets back up, the water's going to really be pouring back coming in. So, But I think it should help the drainage in the area significantly. Uh, we had a, a info, uh, the East Bank Info Tour uh, Saturday. Uh, Saturday morning, we had about uh, 15 piece of people participated on the East Bank. We had a really interesting group who saw the Destrian number one pumping station, the water uh, plant construction, and more. And we're anticipating a full bus load on the West Bank uh, this up this come up uh, this coming Saturday. And the reason why we're doing this is, again, you know, we're talking about spending 6.5 million dollars, and you hear us talking about uh, in, uh, building. Uh, bar screen cleaners on all our pumps. So when, when we talk about this, we want you to have the opportunity to, to see firsthand what we're talking about, what we're spending your money on. Um, also, Public Works is upgrading the uh, Walker, I'm sorry, the official 2010 Paris maps. I think you all have a copy in front of you. Everybody has a copy in front of us. Uh, I'd like to thank Lewis uh, in the GIS department. Lewis did a great job. These maps have been up updated in the last five years. So. Uh, you can pick up a copy at the courthouse, and they'll also be available at uh, more locations throughout the parish. I think, I don't know, uh, Kim, I think we said we, we uh, printed 2,000 of them, and I think there's a company that wants to come in and print 15,000 of them, but they're going to sell ads like around the map. So if you're interested in getting on the uh, getting on the ad with the paper, uh, get a hold of Lewis in the uh, GIS department. Uh, Public Works is upgrading the Walker pump station in St. Rose to increase the capacity of water flow in addition uh, of a new 36-inch culvert parallel on the airline highway. You can see where uh, this culvert is being installed. Uh, we will again host the uh, comprehensive use plan meeting on March 5th at Destrian High School and March 16th at the R.K. Smith in uh, Luling. Uh, the meeting will begin, both meetings will begin at 6.30. Uh, Anidra and I attended the United Way celebration on uh, last week. Congratulations to all the industries and organizations that were recognized for the generous contributions. I think the, this year's goal was uh, 
mean, last year's goals were $2.1 million. They met that goal. And I would like to especially thank Anudra for receiving the uh, Campaign Achievement Award. Anudra was recognized for uh, chairing the St. Charles Parish Government United Way campaign and having one of the greatest increases in employees' givings. Because of, the support of, uh, because of the generous support of all our employees, St. Charles Parish Government raised 21% 20, more from 2009-2010 campaign the previous year. I think we, our donation was like 39000 so I'm very proud of that. Looking to do better next year. The parish has received the Federal Land and Water Conservation Fund Grant Award from the National Park Service in the amount of $150,000 to develop the Rathbone Park. Parish will match the grant funding with 150,000 of subdivision developmental fees from the area subdivisions to complete construction of ballpark amenities. I mean, of park amenities such as a parking lot, baseball fields, bleachers, playground equipment, basketball court, a sand volleyball court, two pavilions with picnic tables and barbecue pits, bench parks, bench park benches, and uh, fitness stations. Also, don't forget March 27th is a uh, uh, Second annual, third annual trash bash, uh, begin at 8 o'clock in the morning to 11.30. We'll have some meet at the uh, West Bank Bridge Park and have some uh, fun and games for the kids and uh, some good eats. That concludes my report, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. St. Pierre.